From big vintage sets that have so much value now, to tiny little LEGO pieces you didn't even realize you had. Here are 25 LEGO pieces that you didn't know existed. Number 25 garage plate and door. So first up on our list, we have something that would get you thinking, why didn't I know that? It's the first ever Lego set that was released and it was called the garage plate and door set. This was released back in 1955, which was literally 69 years ago. <laughs> The set had only five pieces, with only two colors, red and white. It could only be purchased in Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. And that's not all. The garage's base plate was a specific piece, and it was discontinued just a year after the release of the set. Number 24, Target Gift Card. Next up on our list is a Target promotional gift card. Now, this was released when LEGO had a partnership with Target back in 2010. It was a set that included 31 pieces. And when those pieces are all put together, you end up with a model of Target's dog, Bullseye. The set also included a gift card that was valid in any Lego store. Number 23, Julius the Monkey. For the next item on our list, we've got something that I didn't even remember myself, Julius the Monkey. When I saw the cartoon, it looked so familiar, yet I couldn't quite place it. But apparently the show was super popular in the early 2000s, and Lego decided to milk that popularity by releasing a minifigure keychain of the monkey in 2006. Now, don't get me wrong, but the monkey itself itself is pretty creepy and ugly, but it doesn't look that bad in animation. However, if you put that face on a minifigure, it does end up looking super creepy. Number 22, Red Sox. Okay, next up we have a super rare minifigure that's wearing Boston Red Sox merchandise. This minifigure was exclusively made to be given out to fans before a game at Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts back in August of 1999, specifically August 19th. This minifigure figure is incredibly rare because of this reason. Number 21, Giants Player. So speaking of baseball, let's see this other set released by Lego. Now this is a buildable figure of a player of the San Francisco baseball team known as the Giants. This set's got a total of 38 pieces, which are joined together to make a baseball player who's holding a baseball bat. This set was also pretty exclusive. It was released back in 2015 and retired in just a few months. And you can only get it if you were at AT&T Park on September 12th in 2015. Number 20, Batman Box. So the next item on our list is a limited edition Batman announcement box. Now it's an exclusive gift that was given away at the 2005 Comic Con, and only 250 of these were ever made making it a rare item. The box contained two minifigures, one of Batman and one of Joker, along with two accessories, a gun for the Joker, and a rope for Batman. Not only that, this box is so rare that if you've got a sealed version, it can retail for up to $5,000. Number 19, Fly Monster. So going down our list, we've got something unexpected about LEGO. To be honest, it doesn't even make sense to me. It's a LEGO Fly Monster. Now it's not in some fly-themed set or insect theme set. It was included in the series 14 of minifigures. It is, as the name suggests, a fly monster. A minifigure body with a fly head, wings, and for some reason, one hand is a red crab claw. Number 18, Board Game. For the next rare item on our list, we've got a board game by Lego called the Minotaurus Board Game. Now, the set contained a total of 211 pieces that combined together to make this board game. The main goal is to get two of your heroes in the middle of the board while trying to avoid the monster, which, honestly, looks pretty fun. Number 17, Lego Poop. Yep, next we got something that you definitely don't want to believe exists, especially because it's been in so many sets and we just didn't really pay attention. This has been around for quite some time, but not always recognized. It appeared in the 2019 Dog Sitter set in the minifigure series 19. This set comes with a pooper scooper, a blue hat, two dogs, and of course, the poopy dudes. The next time it was used was in 2020, which deserves an entry of its Zone. It was released in a small poly bag that had a catapult and a fortress. It was released in Europe as an extra gift package with Lego Explorer magazine. But the crazy thing about it is that the catapult fires poop, which by the way is not inaccurate. In medieval Europe, around the time the catapult was invented, they would actually fling poo and dead animal carcasses from catapults in order to disease city defenders. Number 16, Bob the Builder. Next up on our list, we have something a little bit more lighthearted. 
hit that's gonna give you some nostalgia, Bob the Builder. Due to the immense popularity of the show, LEGO released a full theme of it in the Duplo series. The theme lasted quite a while too. It was first released in 2001 and it lasted until 2009. There were only 25 sets ever made despite the theme lasting for 8 years. Number 15 LEGO Soccer Stadium The next item on our list is the Grand Soccer Stadium, which was also a board game similar to Minotaurus. There's a total of 386 pieces in the set, and when you're done building it, that's when the real fun begins. The set comes with 14 minifigures, and you can actually play soccer with it. Number 14. The Double Decker Couch For the next item, we've got a very specific one that would only make sense to you if you've watched the LEGO movie. It's the infamous Double Decker Couch couch, Emmett's greatest invention. The set's got a total of 197 pieces that make up the couch itself, and it includes a total of five minifigures. Basically, the whole main character cast from the LEGO movie. Everything is indeed awesome. Number 13. Mr. Mangorium's Wonder Emporia. Next up, we've got a LEGO set of Mr. Mangorium's Wonder Emporia. Now, this sounds like a tongue twister, but it's based on the movie, of course, which was released in 2007. The set had 323 pieces that joined together to make six different builds. Super fun. Number 12, LEGO Spaceport. The next item on our list is a whole theme that I find to be way too good, and it's called the LEGO Spaceport theme, and it is really majorly underrated. This was retired before the start of the century, so it didn't get to be really popular. Only 19 sets were released under this theme. Now, it's honestly pretty sad because the sets are actually really cool. You get to build rockets and there's many figures of astronauts. Maybe LEGO should start a throwback series in which they re-release some of the coolest sets, but maybe remake them slightly so the original has its own value, too. Number 11, UNICEF Van. So, next up on our list, we have the LEGO UNICEF Van, and I can say for sure that you've probably got no idea about it. This was released in 1985, which was almost 40 years ago. It's kind of insane. Now, this set was a promotional set for the United Nations Children's Fund, or UNICEF. The only way to get this was through a LEGO club in Canada. Number 10. LEGO Universe. The next item on our list isn't actually an item, rather it's a game made by LEGO, and no, it isn't LEGO Marvel or Star Wars. It's called the LEGO Universe. This was an online multiplayer game. I don't know much about it because I never played it. It was apparently released in 2010 by NetDevil and Warner Bros. It was an interactive game set in a place called Wonderland, where players can do missions and quests and interact with each other, but it was shut down in just two years. Number 9. Wild Safari Animals. Next Next up on our list, we've got a set about wild safari animals. You may have heard of this set, but I think it's way too cool not to include. The set contains a total of 780 pieces that combine together to make a tree, a flamingo, and a giraffe, which is definitely not my favorite part since I'm still a little traumatized by Jeffrey the Giraffe Lego set. Number 8, Your Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. The next item on our list is a rare mini figure of the neighborhood menace Spider-Man which I can't tell if it's from a movie or what, because the minifigure has its face covered and even has eyebrows with the faint Spider-Man logo on the chest. After doing a little bit of research, I found that it's from a wrestling set, but nobody seems to know if it's an official set, because nobody seems to have proper information. Number 7, Galaxy Explorer. So next up on our list, we have a set from 1979, and it's exactly what the name suggests, a Galaxy Explorer. This thing has a total of 1,254 pieces. Now this set got re-released in 2022, and it seems as though my idea has already been listened to by LEGO about re-releasing sets. Number 6, Year of the Ox. The next item on our list is a set that was released in the Year of the Ox, or 2021. Now this set's got a total of 168 pieces, and the coolest thing about it is that it was free in LEGO stores, yet a lot of people still don't know about it and miss their chance to get this freebie. Number 5, Iron Man. So next up on our list, we've got a LEGO set of Iron Man. And not just any set, it's called the Brick Sketches, which is actually what the name suggests. Sketches made with bricks, specifically for Iron Man. The theme was launched in 2020, but only one set has been officially released. Number 4, Primo. The next item on our list is Primo. Now, Primo is a minifigure of a police officer called Primo. Now, Lego said that he's the one who started it all. Officer Primo has been around since 1979, but he's super rare and ultra precious. Number 3, Ice Cream Seller. Next up 
on our list, we've got a tiny little set called the Ice Cream Seller, which was released in 1997. It comes with a female minifigure who's selling some ice cream. Number two, Alex. The next item on our list is a set from the Brickhead theme. Alex is a Minecraft character, which is a pretty popular game if you've been living under a rock. But this set isn't as popular as you'd think. It was on the shelves for barely three months due to its unpopularity. Now, I think the Brickhead's theme's pretty cool and it was perfect to combine it with a blocky game like Minecraft, but I guess people just didn't like that idea very much. Number one, Surveillance Scooter. Last but not least, we've got something that I hadn't really seen before I started making this video, and that is a Lego Surveillance Scooter. The set was released in a poly bag back in 1995 and only has 23 pieces in total. It isn't something cool, but it is something that not a lot of people know about. And anywho, huh? That's a wrap for our video for today. So what do you think about all this cool stuff? Let us know in the comments section down below and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one.